We are no longer in a society where a four-year college degree is the end all. It's, it's important, but it's not for everyone. The average skilled worker at this point, they're, they're nearing retirement age. They're in their middle 50s, uh, close to 60, and they're getting ready to retire, and someone has to fill those spots. This is where a student would come and learn a hands-on trade, such as heating and air conditioning, carpentry, electricity, machine trades. Right now in the United States, we're, we're in a need. We have a great shortage of hands-on skilled labor. This school will train you for your job and the rest of your life, not just for getting out of high school and going to college. This is the place if you want to come out of high school, get a job, probably making more money than some of your teachers are now, this is the place you want to come. We are here at the Cabell County Career Technology Center. Uh, we offer programs for both high school students and adults. Uh, we have uh, programs from auto repair to collision repair to licensed practical nursing, carpentry. There's definitely so many options here that you can find something you're interested in for sure. Like we just opened up our cosmetology program as well and coding app and game design. I wanted to come here because I had talked to people about the way it helps you when you get out of high school. You can start with a job making good money and I'd rather work with my hands anyways and the classrooms are more one-on-one -on -one with your teacher so you get a more in-depth learning with your teacher and then you get the hands-on aspect of being in the shop. But the students need to understand that there are options to college. We've done a little research here in that right now about 60% of the jobs require a hands-on trade or a two-year technical degree versus 20% need a four-year degree. So I don't think a lot of students realize the amount of money and stable career that are available through the training in our school. They're coming out career ready. They come out with state certificates. They also come out with a NOCTI test. Those students come out here with that exam, which lets everyone know that they are either workforce ready or beyond. We are a simulated workplace. A simulated workplace is just what it says. They do hold us to a higher standard in our simulated workplaces. I think it has better prepared me for a job like straight out of high school if I wanted to just because um, their expectations that they hold. They don't treat you like a kid here. They don't treat you just like a student. They treat you like an adult. They treat you like an individual. I think it has prepared me for a professional setting because they hold us to a professional standard. These students come in, they wear a uniform. They punch a time clock. There's a company hierarchy. They come out of here with the soft skills ready to make them employable. This staff is all hands on deck to make sure these kids succeed. And what you'll find if you look around these hallways, uh, it, it may not be, that the teacher may not have that student, but if they're struggling, they're gonna help them. The teachers make it fun, I think. They make learning fun, and it's a much smaller environment, much more relaxed. The teachers are willing to do like one-on-one -on -one with students and really help you personally. They really adapt to how you learn, not how they want you to learn. First off, our kids out here know that we all care. We want to see them succeed. The other is, is sometimes you have a, a student that he's really into auto mechanics, but he doesn't see the, the benefit of English. If we can integrate the English into the auto mechanics, it makes the English a little bit more interesting to them, and they see the need. They see the need in that the English part is what's going to help them with that manual. These teachers are very proud of the product they turn out because when that student leaves their shop and goes into the field, they're representing them. They're representing Cabell County Career Technology Center. My goal is that I give them entry-level skills to get, to get them in the door and then to teach the student also how to teach themselves. That's huge. I mean, people are coming out of school with, with degrees, which are great. I, I have two master's degrees. But you know, I, I, people are coming out of school with degrees and, and they can't find work. They're incredibly upside down in debt. And it's not for everybody. You know, I had friends who changed their major four times. There's nothing that says you come out, can't come out here to the Career Center, earn a certificate, earn a trade, and go on to a four-year institution. There's nothing at all that says that that can't happen. My first year at Cabell Midland, I was in honors classes, advanced math, 
I was in all those higher classes that the kids who generally go on to take the AP, the honors, the dual credit, those classes. I was in those classes, started on that path to get myself set up for life. And then I started looking in the career center about, well, I could come out of high school doing what I love to do, work with my hands and making just as much money as I could as somebody who went through those classes and went to college and got all the student debt and stuff that they'd get. Anyone belongs here. Everyone belongs here. There was a stigma before that if you weren't successful at the high school, go to the career center. Nothing could be farther from the truth. For example, our machine trades class, at the very minimum mathematics they do in that class is trigonometry. Now, he teaches it in such a fashion that they don't realize they're doing trigonometry. The students that, that come here, you know, and it may be because of something like that. They may feel uncomfortable in a larger setting and want to come here. But on the flip side of the coin, that honor student has a place here as well. Even if they choose not to do something academic here, if they choose to go half day here and do their academics back at their home high school, which they're more than welcome to do, they still have the opportunity to come out here and earn a trade that may become their passion. But it takes some brains to get through these programs, okay? And there is a great importance in what we do once we get out into the workforce.